What's going on everybody? I'm gonna try something today. I'm gonna try to do some top water fishing. I've been starting to try it more often and I usually don't do it cause I just, I don't have a lot of faith in it, but I'm gonna try to do it at a, a creek that I like to go to. That a lot of times some bass push up in and out of the lake. The water levels are raising. It, it's, it's, the weather's been up and down. So I'm not sure how aggressive they're gonna be, but uh, I got a new uh, top water lure I wanna try. So um, we're gonna hit up the creek. Well, creek one wasn't as good as I thought. I saw some bass, couldn't get any bites. But don't worry, we're on to creek number two. There he is. There we go. There we go. We got a top water hit. Solid bass feels like too. Oh man, it took a little work. I thought there might be something active. Oh yeah, that was cool. Hold on there, buddy. I'll get you. Ah, he's kind of thin. I think he's a spawned out bass. Yeah, look how thin he is. But um, I threw over in that sh in the shade, and he s exploded on it. So we got one on the top water. I was hoping to find some thicker ones, but man, this that's a little thin there. All right, we're gonna get it back in the water. That was cool. All right, that was that was what I was hoping to find. I've uh, thrown a few different lures at the other creek, and I was like, I don't know if they're gonna hit or not, but. I think there's just not as many up in this creek as there will be in the summertime. So but we'll go on down. There might be some more. Oh my! Oh, hold on there, hold on there. I was not expecting that one. <laughs> I'm just popping it across this. This is actually, is this the same creek? You know, it's a different creek. There are all these creeks connect together and it's real shallow through here. Dude. I almost didn't even stop here because I was like, I don't even know if I'm gonna get the bite, but I was like, I was like, I need to try it. Oh yeah. That's a solid fish right there. Hold still, hold still. Oh, nice. That's a healthy one. I think it's a two, almost two pounder probably. Short and stocky. That pop R, I gotta get a picture with that. I worked that thing from over, over uh, the other bank all the way back to almost to where I was at before he smoked it. But yeah, that's a good fish there. The fish that I feel like are up in these creeks, they're hitting the ones. I just don't feel like there's a lot of them compared to what gets up here when it gets warmer. But um, that's a good sign. He was up here, so I'm just going to keep on working it. I just don't know where they're going to hit, but the ones that if I come across one, I feel like he's going to hit it. <laughs> oh, he followed it up. I should have looked a little harder, I guess. That was a solid bad, maybe the biggest one today. That was fun to watch. Well, we got a turtle habitat. I'm gonna work my way back down this bank, change it up, we'll put a lizard, we'll see how that goes. I saw, I had that one good hit, I had several fish that were right off the bank. Looked like they may have hit something else, a little coaxing. So hopefully we can, I'm gonna, it's kind of clear through here, so hopefully I can see them and cast at them.
There he is. Got it. Get up there. Ooh, nice. Ouch. Ooh, I think that's the one I missed earlier. I think he's working a better here. I can barely see it just swarming around. Kept dropping that lizard right in on him. Finally got it to hit. Nice bass. Oh, had a hit and it came off. It was a little, little fish. I was wondering if I'd get a hit up in this creek. There he is. <laughs> that was cool. Did he come off? No, he's still on there. He's a little guy, but he smoked that thing. Oh, not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Wow, I've never fished this this far up in the creek. Not much further goes into where I was at, down the Lake Chickamauga area. Dude, I'll take that guy. Nice. He was up here in the current, just missed one. Oh man, he really wasn't even hooked. Just missed one. And then I threw back over off that bank, one pop and this one hit it. It's another skinnier bass. I think these are the ones, there's some still spawning. I feel like these are the ones that are done, spawning are done and they're up here trying to eat and feed. So there's some hitting in the creeks. All right, thank you, Mr. Largemouth. Oh, there's a snake right there. Oh, he's not moving much. All right, every snake looks scary, but for some reason I feel like that one is a poisonous one. Can't tell for sure. He's just chilling there. Pretty good size little snake. Oh. And he swam off. All right, well, one more thing to do. I guess I'm gonna come over here and try to find a few bed fish, see if they're still out here. Uh, just on the, on the, Chickamauga Lake area in Dayton. So um, I've been fishing all around and I saw a couple, I caught that one. So now I'm just kind of, I'm gonna go for a few few fish, see if I can find them. The water's a little murky, see if I can see any on the beds. I got a softball game later on. So I got about another hour to fish. The oh, there's a bass right there. See this little channel right here? The water's a lot clearer in here. That's where I saw a couple bed fish down that way. But all the rest of the lake's really muddy and usually you can just walk around and see the fish on beds well can't see anything so i'm back over here at this channel with a lizard and i want to i'm going to work it slow and see if i can find a couple more bed fish <laughs> There's one. I watched him go right at it. Nice. Dude, this guy doesn't look as big. I saw one out there that looked really big, so I bet it's a real good size one. I tossed it over. I saw this cruising, tossed it over. He went over and got it right away. Got him on the lizard. Oh! Took a lizard. He <laughs> grabbed into my lizard and jerked it off. For a second, I thought my line broke, but I was like, ooh, well, how'd it come off so easy? I saw this little bass. I threw over there, it twitched. He grabbed it, jerked. Must have just had the end. 
Oh, look at this snake. I just saw uh, bluegill. Look over, I saw bluegill swim off. Snake comes out of the grass. Yeah, that was, that was probably the one I saw earlier, same kind of snake. And he's got a skinny tail, and his head's not diamond shaped. I think it's just a uh, northern water snake. They're all over the place. Oh, I see a bass. I was watching this snake, and I see a bass sitting out there. Hold on, hold on. It looks like a decent bass. See if I can get a cast. Not spooking him. Okay. I see it. Yeah, he's going for it. He's going for it. He's going for it. Got him. Got him. Nice. It's a nice bass. I'm over here watching this snake, and he just comes up cruising in the super shallow water. Come on. Got there. Dude, this is probably gonna be ended out, and that's gonna be a nice one. Oh man. Biggest one of the day. Probably a two and a quarter. He really took that lizard. That's the second one, that one that I lost, and this one, I watched him. They, as soon as they saw a lizard, they just went over there and ate it. All right. Nice. Look at his tail, it's bloody. He, he wasn't on a bed, though. I don't know if they're coming off beds or what. But this, this spring has been a weird year. But that's a good little catch. That's pretty cool to sight fish it, too. Just the way I looked over there and saw it. Cash it right at it. And this water right here is probably less than a foot deep in this little shallow area. They're cruising through here, I guess, looking for... I don't know what they're doing. Really fun, interesting day out here. And um, a lot of fishing is just... For me anyways, learning and exploring, especially as the time changes, the water changes, the water level rises. Uh, last time I was here, there was no water in this area over here. You know, the lake was low, now it's up. Fish are moving up shallow, they're bedding. Some of them are hitting top water, some of them are up in the creeks. They're all over the place right now. I didn't exactly like wear out the fish, but I caught a lot and had a fun time just kind of exploring and messing around. I'll probably be back here with my kayaks, especially because some of those fish, I saw them cruising in like a foot of water. And some of those areas were real clear, some were real muddy. So it'll be fun to get in here with a kayak. Hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. So thanks so much for watching. And maybe you learned a little bit. If you want to go check out some of those lures, I uh, I went and bought the uh, Popeye from um, Fishtails this morning because I saw it. But you can't get a 15% off discount and order it through my discount code that I have. And I'll have the information on that below. Thanks for watching.